Norwegian officials have opened an investigation into why the Viking Sky set sail despite storm warnings all along the European coastline. The ship's engines failed with more than 1,300 people on board over the weekend, forcing helicopter evacuations. Many of those rescued are senior citizens from the U.S., among them a woman and her husband from here in Arizona. Team 12's William Pitt spoke to the couple's family who are still waiting to hear from them. That's all Pamela Meyerhofer's family got, a text message every once in a while from Pamela on her Norway cruise, the last one saying there was something wrong with the ship. We didn't get any phone. We've had no phone conversation with them since the incident, so it's all been text. Eric Meyerhofer is in Colorado, waiting for word from his parents, Pamela and John, somewhere in Norway, he thinks. They were both on the Viking Sky cruise ship when the engines failed and the ship started drifting. Um, but they were in life jackets and sitting inside a hallway my sister kept getting sporadic messages saying, you know, 50 mile an hour winds or 80 mile an hour winds, 40 mile an hour or 40 foot seas. Pamela and John both live in Litchfield Park. Eric says they're seasoned travelers. Pamela posts pictures of places around the world from D.C. to Ireland, kissing the Blarney Stone. But no travel adventure was ever like this. Hundreds of people had to be airlifted off the Viking sky. Pamela and John were in good health, not injured, so they were not the first ones off. I had had some worry when they were told when they told me they were going, because I have a bunch of friends over in Europe, and one of my friends had said that you know that the seas off off Norway were were pretty gnarly, and they were getting tons of snow and and all of that. That premonition turned out to be right. The family still hasn't heard from John and Pamela, but the ship eventually limped back to port under its own power. Apparently they're allowing them back on the boat to pack their things um, and then arranging transportation for, for them to get home. Meanwhile, investigators are still trying to find out why the engines failed and why the ship set sail in rough seas at all. William Pitts, 12 News.